NBC5 responds in a warning if you're planning on hopping on a flight and getting out of town this summer, double check the customer service phone number that you dial. It may seem like a simple thing, but one wrong digit can cost you hundreds of dollars. NBC5 responds PJ Rendawa shares the information you need to file away before your next trip. A couple of days before a planned getaway, Sam Holland got on a call to ask her airline a question about checked bags. They said to me, um, can I have your name and do you have a record locator? Holland provided the information. I found your trip here. She says the person on the line said there was a problem. Her seat on the plane was confirmed. Her husband's was not. You have to pay an additional $900. I'm just trying to make sure that you, when you get to the airport, you've both got your seats. Holland looked at the reservation. She booked directly through the airline's website. She could see an e-ticket number for her husband. She also knew she paid. It threw me for a second and then I thought, this can't be right, so I hung up. Holland says the same person called her back from a different number. I just want to make sure that you understand if you don't pay for this seat, then when you get to the airport, your husband's going to be on standby. And I specifically said to him, are you a scammer? And he said, no, I've got all your flight information here. Holland never gave the person money. She looked again at the number she dialed. I have um, American Airlines stored in my phone. Um, so I thought that was the American Airlines number, but what I came to realize after the fact was that I was a digit across. Holland says she doesn't remember when she stored the number or where she found it. She could see it was close to, though not the correct contact for American. Scammers will typically find a way to get a phone number that's very close to the company's phone number. So if it's an airline's 1-800 uh, number, they'll get a number that's one digit off and they're waiting for people who accidentally misdial the number. The FTC calls this an imposter scam. Matthew Wilshire explains there's been an explosion of them over the last five years as technology makes it cheaper and easier for someone to pretend to be your airline, bank, or anyone you do business with. They might be reading from a script that is very similar to what you might hear from a typical customer service representative but they begin to change where they start pressuring you to take action immediately. Wilshire says it's the common thread among different types of schemes, someone pressuring the consumer to pay quickly, and it may not start with a phone call. They're also creating fake accounts on social media. Clint Henderson is managing editor at The Points Guy. He says if you're trying to reach an airline on social media, make sure the account responding to you isn't an imposter. You can double check on the airline's website. Americans' website links to official social media accounts. We see other airlines share that information on their home pages too. If you're searching for a phone number, use the one listed on the airline's website, especially during bad weather or busy travel periods like spring break. When we're stressed, when we're panicked about getting on the next flight, we sometimes make poor decisions. So you just want to really check yourself, take a breath, take a beat and make sure you're following proper protocol. NBC5 Response shared the phone number Sam Holland dialed with American Airlines. A spokesperson tells us in part the airline doesn't tolerate scammers. It encourages customers to report suspicious activity so the airline can investigate. I know the days leading up to going away, you're doing your checklist and you're rushing through to get everything ticked off, but sometimes take time. And if people are asking you for money when you know you've paid, it's probably a red flag. Holland says she hopes her experience helps others' customers recognize a problem before they're taken for a ride. PJ Randawa, NBC5, responds. Thanks to PJ. She saw some flags there.